the coral reef, a diverse underwater ecosystem held together by calcium carbonate structures consisting of polyp and zooxanthellae colonies, a foundation for human tourism, income, and safety from the elements, a vital piece of our deteriorating earth. 1,235 miles south of Pittsburgh lies a Coral Cay archipelago off the coast of Florida, commonly known as the Keys. Recognized as the third largest reef in the world and North America's only living barrier reef, the Keys are an extremely popular aquatic attraction for those all over. Bringing millions of visitors per year, the Florida Keys remains a top competitor in United States tourism. In 2014, National Geographic named Key Largo's coral as the trees of the forest. And if you don't have trees, you don't have a forest. Progressively over the course of a few decades, a combination of human disturbance, water nutrition decline, and an increase in pollution has caused our only living reef to be in great danger. The NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has paired up with the Coral Restoration Foundation and Sea Corps to create an innovative offshore coral nursery dedicated to rebuilding our reefs. Hundreds of divers, both employed and volunteer, help plant and propagate tiny slivers of coral in hopes of reversing what the negative human impact has done to our oceans. The coral is carefully monitored in an underwater nursery and takes usually just a few months to start creating a foundation for a healthy new reef. Here in Pittsburgh, we travel to speak with Aquarius Justine at the Zoo and PPG Aquarium in hopes to educate those around us just how important our involvement is in this coral nursery process. The aquarium has been partnered with Seacor and the Coral Restoration Foundation for decades, using small-scale restoration projects to help give the public general skills and knowledge to educate those around us as well. Hey, my name is Justine and I'm an aquarist here at the Pittsburgh Zoo of PPG Aquarium. I understand a great um, organization uh, and they're still involved with it in some aspects to this day. So. Um, they get to go down and uh, repropagate repropagate corals um, in reefs that have seen some destruction, uh, and they also are able to go down and collect um, egg and sperm bundles so they can actually start to raise um, some of our the corals in laboratory setting. What else do humans do that puts stress? So ocean acidification is one of the biggest ones too. So if they're not able to actually um, excrete their calcium to build their calcium skeleton, they, they're not going to be able um, to grow and thrive. Um, some simple things um, that we can do to prevent that, obviously, is to decrease our carbon footprint. Right, so the more CO2 in our water, um, that's going to increase the um, ocean acidification. Um, and it's going to cause their pH to plummet, and it's going to be a lot harder for them to survive. So what can you do? As a landlocked state, we can sometimes forget about the most important environmental global issues, but becoming mindful of how our daily actions impact those hundreds of miles away can start a chain reaction for generations to come. Here's our top three ways to help save the reefs. Number one, skip the straw. Something as simple as saying no to a tiny tube of plastic at your local Starbucks or restaurant can make an impact on the amount of waste dumped into our oceans. And this could mean the difference between life and death to sea creatures and our corals. Plastic straws can take up to 10 years to degrade. Would you want that invading your home? Second, choosing reusable bags instead of plastic at your local grocer can reduce the average usage of 22,000 bags per person per lifetime. Plastic creates up to 10% of the debris on our coastlines. And what also lines our coasts? Coral reefs! Lastly, don't touch! Whether you're exploring on the beach on vacation, on a snorkel tour, or scuba diving in the Caribbean, think of it as a museum you should not disturb. Corals and the animals inhabiting them are all living, and you are intruding upon their habitat. Even the slightest touch can crush fragile polyps. Basically, when you're in the water, take nothing but memories and photos and leave only bubbles. The biggest impact we can make on our oceans is to respect the ecosystem we're in and make simple changes to protect it. Just remember, you have the power to save our oceans. You have control of our reef's destiny. What will you choose?
Save our oceans.